Alright, how's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome back to Five Nights at Leon's Remastered. People seem to really enjoy the first video I did on this game, so you already know I gotta hop back on it for another video. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. Let me slow down for a second. If I sound sick, well, it's because I was. I'm just now starting to get better though. My voice was all the way fucked up, it was completely useless. Every single word that came out of my mouth was pure agony. But it got a little bit better. It got a lot better actually. Because now I can actually talk and do videos again, so yeah. Okay, now let's get started. Hey man, sorry for not coming in today. I was busy, you know. Anyways, I think you wanted to ask me about the room with the camera that had no video feed, right? Well, let me tell you, that six days ago, one of the employees brought his sister here, and she was about six or five years old, I believe. So that day we had an important meeting, so all of the employees had to go to the boss's office. So that girl started roaming around the place until she got into the room. It was dark to see what was inside, but the manager of Leon's company didn't want anyone to see what was inside the room for some unknown <coughs> reason. So the girl that got in the room and the door closed behind her. She couldn't see or reach the door, so she put her hand on the wall to try to make herself a clear path for her to follow, but she accidentally touched an exposed power cable and, um, yeah. After that day, we all knew what was inside the room, and there was one broken electronic. I believe that he had no name, but he was known as Doc. From what I heard, he, he was the first animatronic that was ever seen. That it wasn't working perfectly, so he was forbidden in the room. But now I have been getting rumors lately about this animatronic. Some employees that work during the day say that sometimes they hear a little girl talking at that night. This animatronic sort of starts walking and acts very weird. They say he goes to the office, so this animatronic might come to your office by the door. Also, the, the lights kitchen won't work on him, so you, so you might see him in the hall. This animatronic is very sensitive to high room temperature. I think he doesn't like a room when it's 90 degrees or something. So you can use that computer in front of you. Okay, that's it for this night. Have a good night, night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, okay. When he shows up, I gotta use this and um, use the heater. But only when uh, he gets close enough. I think I gotta use it now. Nope. Okay. How about now? Okay. Get off. Alright, yeah. <clears throat> That's how you do it. Just wait till they get close enough. And then use this. And then... I don't know why I can't just, you know, click on the buttons and not have to press keys, but... Okay. Go off, I guess. Is that Leon? Yep. How you doing, Leon? Alright, see you later. That's the bird in the hallway. Now he's gone. Now you could take your sweet time and just stay there for the rest of the night, because um it's 4 a.m. right now. Oh. What the fuck? Okay, that was, um, different. This thing's trying to ask for help. So it must be like the big, bad, Golden Freddy Springtrap type animatronic of uh, this universe. Oh, wait, I think I got to use the heat now. Nope. Go ahead, guys. Shower me with those L's. I deserve it. Oh my god. It was 5 a.m. too. So he's got three stages. Not two. He had one more stage after that. Good to know. If I didn't know that before, I definitely, definitely know that now. 
Yeah. And I learned it the hard way. That's the best part. Okay, so I heard the phone call again. And this thing um, was apparently the first animatronic ever built. But it wasn't working correctly. But it was in the same room as this room right here with the camera disabled. And it was disabled because of an accident that uh, an employee's kid had or some shit. She touched an exposed wire, got electrocuted right then and there. That probably took out the camera or something. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, my fucking. <sighs> this game is so easy. It's just me. I'm the problem. I keep fucking up. I keep fucking up. How do I keep fucking up on such an easy game? I don't get it. <sighs> yep. I had a feeling that was Leon in the um in in the kitchen. That's that's great. So, this death actually wasn't on me. It was caused by Leon and that wolf thing in the hallway attacking at the same time. Fun, right? Hey guys, check this out. I can exit out the monitor and still have the heat going. If I knew that before, I could have kept myself from dying just now. Okay. Okay, oh, 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 oh. I just watched him spawn in. He spawned in as I was leaving the vents. Oh, what the fuck? I saw a pair of glowing eyes. I was like, is something there? Or are those just lights that were always there? I don't know. Something told me to just close the the, uh, the curtains. And it looks like those weren't lights. Those were an actual pair of glowing eyes. So we're not alone in here. There's something else rolling around this restaurant. Some kind of spirit or something. I don't know. What I do know is that this will be the last night that we're going to do for this video after the adventure that I had with night three. Now watch me beat night four in just one attempt. I probably just jinxed it, but you know, don't be surprised. Hi man, good job during the week. However, it's your fourth night. So as always, keep it up that way. I got some bad news lately. Remember that computer in the parts and service room? Yeah, the one that activates the fumigators? Uh, today a technician came over this morning to fix some problems with another system. This computer also controls. He detected an unnormal thing in the fumigators. Uh, remember the first night when I told you that each room had a fumigator? Yeah, these have a small leak that activate from time to time. Just one fumigator, but we have a solution for it. When they get active, they release these little quantities of poison gas, making the toxic increase. You have a toxic meter that tells you how much toxic gas is released from the fumigator. The meter becomes red. And I think you have less time to live, so you must fix it. Well, the cameras have a very cool feature that when something like that happens, it makes an available option to fix the error manually. What the fuck? How is that fair? The game was just telling me how to fix whatever was going on, and it didn't help that, you know... The problem happened as the phone call was playing, telling me how to fix it. And it also didn't help that the phone guy was beating around the bush instead of getting to the point. I could have figured out what to do faster. As, as expected, I jinxed it. We can forget about me beating this in one attempt because I died during the damn phone call. So, that's nice. Yeah, I already figured it out without the phone call having to tell me. There's another one in other rooms? What the fuck? It's not just those three? Oh, nah. Nah, hold up. This is gonna cause hella problems. This is that RNG shit that I do not like. That I can't stand. Oh, man. I can see that this game is going to lose hella points just for that. 
All right, come on, dude. Hurry up so I can get rid of you. Leon has to be out of there already. And he was. This one again. And Leon and the bird are both in there. And you're in the vent. Now, why the fuck does it take so long to fix? That's the bird. So Leon's gonna come through the window. This is good. We're in a good spot right now. That was nothing. Just ignore it. And that's Leon. Come on. Whew, saved it. All right. Get out of the monitor. I thought I was gonna die from the heat. Oh, no. I knew it. I knew you'd be up there. I knew it. Okay, 5 a.m. Let me not fuck up now and have to start over. Who's in there? That can't be Leon. I just saw him. I just saw him at the window. Unless, of course, all of the camera's static when somebody moves somewhere else. Fuck. Not again. Shit, where is it? Alright. Oh, look, it's the wolf. Alright, that's the bird. No need to worry about him. And now you're back. But it's been 5 a.m. for a good hot minute now, so the night might end before I get to see you again. Hi, Leon. Bye, Leon. Yes! Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap up this episode. This adventure of an episode. Uh, next video we're gonna be doing Night 5 and Night 6, if this game has it, which it probably does. Uh, I'm concerned that that damn fumigator shit is gonna screw me over. I really and truly hope it doesn't come to that. But as somebody who's played countless Five Nights at Freddy's fan games and dealt with this kind of shit, I'm sorry, but that isn't something that I can rule out. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.